Millions of dollars in new tax money is also on the line tomorrow. KMBC 9's Andy Alcock live outside the Flash Cube building in Nathan, Maine, with more on two ballot initiatives involving short term rentals in Kansas City, Missouri. Andy. Yeah, right, Chris. The Flash Cube building has several apartments serving as, as uh, short term rental properties here in this building. Tyler Shirk has one of them. Shirk owns three short term rentals through the Airbnb platform and also has a company which manages 60 of them in the metro area. He showed us an apartment in the Flash Cube building being used as a short term rental. One measure on Tuesday's ballot would double the occupancy fee from $1.50 to $3 per day. Hotels, motels, and short-term rentals would all pay it. A second proposal before Kansas City voters would force short-term rental owners to pay the 7.5% convention and tourism tax. Hotels and motels already pay it. And we have no problem paying those. We would just like, with the uh, tourism tax, they put people in the bids of the hotels for the taxes they charge them. We would like that same opportunity with the city's tourism council to you know, help us put people in our bids if we're paying taxes as well. A recent audit by the city estimated some 90% of short-term rentals do not have the necessary permit to operate. So actually having those permits is going to be necessary to collect those new taxes and fees. But Shirk tells us some of his clients have applied for those permits and are still waiting years later to get them. Reporting live outside the Flash Cube building at 8th and Main, Andy Alcock, KMBC 9 News. Andy, thanks. Ahead at 6, much more on the new plan the city is working on when it comes to regulating and enforcing short-term rentals.